you were tuned in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel as we take you on a ride through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Mayo Kun spills on why he doesn't have a baby mama. Nigerian singer Mayo Kun reveals why he's yet to have a baby mama, like some of his colleagues in the music industry. Taking to his official Snapchat account, the singer decided to answer his fans who have been curious about his private life. According to Mayo Kun, he doesn't have a baby mama because he has yet to meet the girl who would be the mother of his child. At number 9, Next Possible Destinations for Ronaldo The next possible destination for Al-Nasir superstar Cristiano Ronaldo has been revealed. Despite Ronaldo's impressive goal scorer record in Saudi Arabia, all is not going smoothly for the 38-year-old. Ronaldo appeared to make an obscene gesture to fans of an opposing team who were chanting the name of career rival Lionel Messi during the recent game. Multiple reports are now stating that the Portugal International is keen on an early exit from the big spending club. And according to Metro, there are clubs willing to welcome the Euro 2016 winner to Europe. Here are some of the clubs. Spots in Lisbon, Newcastle United, Real Madrid, PSG, and Los Angeles FC. At number 8, Kemi Korede recounts struggle. Hollywood actress Kemi Korede is pondering back on her humble beginnings. Kemi Korede reflected on times in her past when things were difficult for her while posting a picture of herself as a child on her Instagram page. She described how in order to survive, she sold powdered yam, kerosene, raw yam, and other items. She claimed that growing up was extremely challenging and that she endured great suffering in order to succeed. She never would have thought that she would get this far, but she was certain that she needed to be excellent to take care of her parents. She urged her followers to put forth a lot of effort to succeed and to never give up. At number 7, Kevin Costner and wife are divorcing. Kevin Costner and his wife of nearly 19 years, Christian Borgartner, are divorcing, a representative for the actor has said. Costner's publicist Arnold Robinson said in a statement, it is with great sadness that circumstances beyond his control have transpired which have resulted in Mr. Costner's having to participate in the dissolution of marriage. Costner and Baumgartner, a model and handbag designer, began dating in 1998 before getting married at the Colorado Ranch in 2004. They have two sons aged 14 and 15 and a 12 year old daughter. It was the second marriage for Costner, who 68 years old, the Oscar and Emmy winning star of TV's Yellowstone and films including Dances with Wolves, The Bodyguard, and The Bull Durham. At number 6, reactions as Uche Jumbo celebrates Genevieve Naji on her birthday. Hollywood actress Uche Jumbo has spent a heartwarming tribute to calling Genevieve Naji on a special day. Genevieve Naji turns a new age and Uche took to a verified Facebook page to celebrate the veteran actress. She wrote and I quote, Happy birthday to you my day one Jenny, love you always. This post of hers has generated a series of comments from fans as many praise her for looking out and celebrating a friend while others celebrated the actress. Many quizzed about the whereabouts of Genevieve Naji as she has been away from the spotlights for a very long time. At number 5, MC Warrior Boy shades Ash Mushi. Nigerian influencer and promoter MC Warrior Boy slams kit maker Ash Mushi for allegedly copying what businessman Obi Kubana and Imani did for the employees. It may be recalled that Ash Mushi recently bought two cars for a loyal staff and shared a video of her presenting one of the whips to a worker. Imani and Obi Kubana had also bought cars months ago and gifted them to their employees as well as celebrities and it went viral. Warrior Boy said people at like Ash Mushi don't know how to copy sensibly as she only decided to buy cars because the business moguls did the same. He implied that what she did was just for clout as they are celebs that typically take back the cars which they openly gave to the employees. The MC issued a warning that he does not want to find out that the workers are still using leg to trek simply because the boss took back the car. He said he will come online to expose anybody who does such fake show of benevolence in a bid to garner accolades. This entertainment industry, una de tu do, una de tu do, una tu de copy, copy. Because Obi Kubana and Imani now buy moto for their staff, they don't turn normal thing, everybody want to buy moto for staff. Muna how nobody want to go cast over. No one year later say they collect moto of staff called the trail because now one they one they take in total of all those staff who now they buy moto for one they share for that the driver. Because we just come outside put moto say eh, eh, this is my own time. When I didn't see see all the people banana they be angry they be pillar they be rock of ages that money long. Eh. So if now one they go to copy there call they give up fake lies up on Instagram to deceive the youths. We'll go find out about those cars. And if we find ourselves, I know they buy those cars for those people, and they buy the cars for it. At number 4, Chelsea could suffer shock relegation under Lampard. Chelsea could face the possibility of losing their Premier League status under extraordinary circumstances this season. Although the Blues have had three managers in charge this campaign, they still sit in the 12th place position with 39 points. The current man in the hot seat, Frank Lampard, has lost all six matches he has taken charge of. Mathematically, Chelsea could still go down this season. The distance between themselves and the 18th place Nottingham Forest is not big. Leicester and Leeds in 16th and 17th place, respectively, are also nine points away from the Blues. But the Blues to go down all through a Forest Leicester 
Afghanistan leads would have to pick up at least 10 points from the final four games. At number three, Thames sparks pregnancy speculation. Afrobeat singer and real of the moment, Thames, has sparked pregnancy rumors with her latest outing. The Grammy Award winning artist, who is still in New York after attending the 2023 Met Gala, stepped out in style channeling her inner Rihanna. Thames wore rugged jeans with a sweater, which was half zipped and showed off her stomach. Her appearance caught the attention of many as they assumed the singer is expecting a child. At number two, Ronke Oshudi calls out her daughter's school. Nollywood actress Ronke Oshudioki has called out her daughter's tertiary institution for their active negligence. Ronke, in a video posted on her Instagram page, narrated how her daughter was poisoned by either her friends or roommates. According to her, she got a distress call at 3.45 a.m. informing her that her daughter was in the hospital because she drank hypo. Though how her daughter drank hypo remains a mystery to everyone, she feels her friends' roommates were trying to poison her. Ronke stated that she bought her daughter a non-transparent water bottle, which she took to school, and drinks from with straw, which made it possible for her to be poisoned. Not disclosing the name of the institution, Ronke actually warned them not to mess with the kids and she wouldn't take it lightly with them if there are any reoccurrence. At number one, fans react to Mr. Easy's grateful list. Now, German singer, songwriter, and record executive Mr. Easy sparks reaction with his latest Instagram post. On his Instagram page, the musician shared a video of himself grooving to his new song titled Chop Life Sound System and took the opportunity to express gratitude for the things he was thankful for, which was great health, peace of mind, and no insufficient funds. However, this post has sparked reactions from fans of his fiance, Temi Otadola. Some fans expressed disappointment that he did not include Temi in his list of things he was grateful for, while others expressed concern about their relationship and questioned if everything was alright between them. And with that, it's a wrap of today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more updates, kindly follow us on all our social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.